Hey guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can generate hyper realistic photographs in Leonardo AI. So you'll be able to generate these images for people, for characters, for birds, city landscapes, architecture, animals, and basically your imagination. I'm going to walk you through a bunch of photographs. I'm going to give you a prompt that you will have to use as a static prompt for all of your generations to show you what elements to manipulate in that prompt in order to generate images like these in Leonardo AI. Just a quick note, I've used Leonardo Diffusion model in order to generate these images. You can play around with any of these models and use the prompts that I show you in order to generate hyper-realistic photographs. I'm also going to give you tips in order to generate the best prompts. But if you want to deep dive on how prompts work, check out my video on prompt engineering. All right, so let's get started. So first, let's look at a few of the samples, right? So the subject here is old Yoda, professional color grading, soft shadow, no contrast, clean, sharp focus, film photography. And this is the kind of output that Leonardo currently generates. Similarly, if I change this to subject to old man, rest of the prompt similar, you can see how hyper realistic this photo is in old man generated by the same model. Now let's see one more example where I change the subject to young Luke Skywalker and you can see this too seems like a real image of a person. So how does that work, right? So a couple of tips when you're kind of trying to generate hyper realistic photos of your subjects. Number one, keep it short, right? So to, if, you, if your prompt is too big, it's likely the machine will be confused and the generation wouldn't be so good. Second, reuse and A-B test. When you generate a prompt, right? So once a prompt like this is generated, try and play around with certain elements in the prompt. For example, you can change the photography style, remove the contrast or add the contrast depending on what you want, and then play around with the generation to kind of reach that point where you feel comfortable with the generation itself. Aligned and focused, primarily think of what you want to generate, visualize it, and then try to add things that will drive you towards building a complete prompt in that direction. Fourth is think like a photographer. If you're thinking of a subject in a more natural setting, think of what kind of photography will do well, maybe national geography, photography, or something else that may suit the need of the subject and the placement the subject currently is in. Learn the basics of photography and then finally work on real subjects. Obviously you can test your imagination, but the best way to do justice to the model or generate hyper realistic images is to kind of real subjects that exist in the world. Let's move on. Now that the tips are clear, let's look at a few generations that I had done and what kind of things I had changed in the prompt in order to kind of make variations for these generations. So my initial prompt was futuristic woman with blue hair, blue eyes, award winning studio photography, professional color grading, soft shadow, no contrast and clean sharp focus. So this is the kind of output that I am able to generate with this prompt, where I specifically mentioned film photography. See how the lighting is perfectly aligned. There is a blue neon light coming from the right side, giving this image setup. Now I'll go ahead and change the type of photography to analog photography and focus is more on the subject now. It's behind to be a bit blurry and the focus is more on the face of the subject. Now, let, now let's try and change this to digital film photography where the focus is on entire face. Light is evenly distributed throughout the subject itself. Again, you can create another variation by saying cinema photography and you can generate different variations similarly for magazine which is more on the lines, the front page picture of the magazine. You can look at the photo and you can see the photo is trying to tell a story about the person itself. Finally, you can change the photography style again to glamour photography where aesthetics of the subject come in picture. You can see none of the images had a blue color lipstick makeup in order to kind of bring out the aesthetics or glamour side of story. You can obviously change the subject at this point, for example, you can change the futuristic woman with blue hair and blue eyes, say a village woman, and you can see that you can see that the generation itself has changed. You can go ahead and change the photography style and the subject, and you can see the generation keeps changing depending on what you want it in the photo itself. So, so this photo specifically was generated more on the lines of a National Geographic photographer. All right, so a couple of tips before we move forward. So when you want to play with the eye colors, you can use diamond for clear eyes, ruby for red eyes, sapphire for blue eyes, emerald for green eyes, and amethyst for purple eyes. Similarly, you want to play with skin color, you can see that you can use carbon for black, charcoal for black, 
indigo for blue etc etc depending on what you kind of want to generate so now let's move on to a more uh, nature based generation and we're going to be looking at tortoise here so i'm going to say tortoise in nature highly detailed body professional color grading sharp shadow no contrast clean sharp focus pen you can see only the blue blue side of the story is changed this is the kind of generation we get and looks super real in that sense right so the focus is on the subject but it's more nature oriented photography we change the photography uh, style to national geography you can see the focus is again more on telling the story of the subject i can see there's some misalignment with the shell of the tortoise here i can see two shells here but again the goal when you change it to a more national geography style photography the focus goes from you know the film photography or the show show value of the photography to a more story based value of the photography again you can change it to gopro which will bring in the perspective the closer focus perspective on the subject itself and the goal is to kind of communicate how you can kind of manipulate certain elements of the prompt itself to play you know let's try one more from the perspective of architectural photography is architectural photography of minimalistic living room and i'm going to keep the rest other part of the prompt same professional color grading soft shadow no contrast clean sharp focus etc so this is the first generation now i'll go ahead and manipulate uh, the last part to hdr bright room at the bottom and you can see the room is now brighter the while the photography style is still minimalistic the room is way brighter compared to say this one i'm going to bright it even further so i'm going to say evenly lit lit room and you can see this is the kind of generation we can have for the minimalistic a uh, living room itself if so you want to see more on the lines photography there where there are multiple subjects and points of focus so this is the first initial generation of a dubai neon street at night professional color grading soft shadow no contrast clean sharp focus film photography now i want to add i want to make this street wet without affecting the generation by a lot so i'm just going to say wet street you can see you can see burj khalifa behind but the generation now is more aligned towards bringing the reflection on the street let's go ahead and change this to bokeh photography where you can see uh, in the reflections you can see the focus more on the subjects you can see the focus is more on the certain areas of the subjects and there are multiple reflections now compared to the previous generation i didn't change that to national geographic photograph again and you can see that now the focus is more towards telling the story uh, so i can see a street here uh, with burj khalifa in the back and so the goal is to kind of say the story of the city you can see there are trees uh, there are gold shops etc etc the goal is to kind of bring out the story in the photo itself finally i want to move finally i want to move ahead and talk about talk a bit about macro photography or hyper realistic my macro photography so you can so what i prompted leonardo ai is to generate hummingbird and flower and then professional color grading and the prompt is similar but i changed the film photography to macro photography while the generation is imperfect i can see the feet are not aligned you can see how beautiful the whole generation is where the hummingbird is trying to kind of nectar off of the flower itself now i'm going to say super macro photography where the where the image is further zoomed in and the flowers are way more clear i think the feet are better aligned now and then finally i'm going to say bokeh depth of field effect where the zoom is even deeper i can see it see the tongue popping out here and the generation itself uh, continues to be hyper realistic while also kind of way more focused on the subject of the generation per se this is what i kind of wanted to do in this video itself to give you a quick overview of how to use leonardo ai's leonardo Dif diffusion model in order to generate hyper realistic photographs of your subjects imagination people animals whatever you can think of it and i hope this guide did help you get some direction on how that can be done Uh, if yes drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel share this across with a friend and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much